<laughs> what? This film. <laughs> what the f are you doing? Look, it's been a busy day, alright? I'm having a relax. Relax? I'm having a chill. What are they colourblind glasses you got on? Wow! <laughs> wow! We're watching The Fifth Element. Uh, Have you seen this before? Because I think I've seen this as a kid. I've seen it as a kid, I think, but I just remember being really weird. I don't remember anything from it. I know Bruce Willis, Gary Oldman and Mila Djokovic are in it. I thought you were going to say Kunas then. Mila Kunas, <laughs> that's Jupiter Ascending. That looks like a yeah. math version of this. Um, but I've heard that it's kind of a kid, kid movie. Yeah, is this going to be, because it is a 12 and we're coming straight out of... Um, the Mist. The Mist. We're coming straight out of Predator and Total Recall as well. Are we going to get a bit meh nah, uh, in comparison? That's yeah, what maybe. Doing. I don't know. I just want a good story. And if it's got that kind of picture and cast, I'm thinking, is it going to be a fun adventure ride? That's what yeah. I like. I like a good adventure. Film. Yeah. Bruce Willis at that time, you know, he was doing Die Hard. He was doing these eight, you know, R-rated movies. Yeah, but and then for him to do a yeah, movie that's a 12. Goes into The Sixth Sense and he does... Um, Pulp Fiction, and he does all of these, and then he and then he films. does this film. No more chit chat, all right? Let's get to it. Please don't wear those glasses during. I'm the gonna reaction. wear it for the whole. No, day. you're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you haven't even pressed go yet. Can what, we just go? What are you saying? What are you saying? Can we go? I'm waiting. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> you got the Christmas tree in. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're watching The Fifth Element. Let's get it. So, am I right in saying the four elements are earth, air, fire, and water? And the fifth element is what? Space. Fifth element, you're about to smell it. <laughs> Jesus. I'm trying to have a serious conversation here. When the three planets are in eclipse, the black hole like a door is open. Evil comes. Water, fire, earth, air. Around a fifth one. A fifth... Element. Ah, father. It's how you do. Father, oh, please. And here, a weapon against evil. Here. This is the most unbelievable thing I have ever seen. Don't you think? Stone's not safe on Earth anymore. It's Bruce Willis. In 300 years. When evil returns, so shall we. No, no! Really? No. Oh. Pass your knowledge to the next priest as it was passed on to you. What? So does this fifth element prevent it evil? Says, yeah, it stops the evil, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But how? And why? That's no moon. It has an eclipse, though. I don't think that's an eclipse. It is evil. Absolute evil. Shooting will only make it stronger. Zero, you may fire one later. Why would you attack something that you don't know what it is and then someone says it's pure evil? It's growing! It's bigger! Falling from his head. So this is what futuristic music sounds like. What people think is the, the future tells more about the time. It's yeah. made than the actual yeah. future. The goal of this thing is not to fight over money or power, but to exterminate life, all forms of life. So what you're telling me, Father, there's nothing that can stop this. There is only one thing. The fifth element. Uh, I need to say that more, I Origin love it. Four elements gathered around a fifth supreme being of the ultimate warrior. Weird sound. Created. Oh, there it is. Big boys are again. Oh no! What? Who are these guys attacking? Well, there goes them then. <laughs> that what you call a survivor? A few cells are still alive. It's more than I need. Activated. What? 3D printer. Is this taken from the crash of the big ship? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's because yeah. it's the fist of that robot thing, yeah. but it's, it's not it's robot, it's a phase, the cells suit. Bombarded. With orange hair, of course. Thermal bandages. Oh, that's why yeah. she wears these weird clothes in the... Yeah. Yeah. I've seen pictures. people, like, cosplay yeah. this for Halloween, this costume before. Terribly. 
Not, not a good job of it. <laughs> That's how I wake up every morning. Is that thing solid? Unbreakable. Oh. Man, those police suits are ridiculous. <laughs> Wash your hands. You Dirty boy. It's terrible CGI, but for two, 1997, it's not a it's okay. good franchise film, so it's, it does its best with the budget it has, probably. Any survivors? A banana tapla blue, but I'm tired of that. She speaks like one of the Sims. You know, you're lucky you're not dead. Drive away, Bruce! <laughs> oh Christ! Too old, too tired, and too hungry to go chase himself. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald survived. I get nothing. He's got a scam block. He needs a car thief. Bless him. I like how the taxi car <laughs> has like a <laughs> another product placement. <laughs> fog. Is that like pollution fog? Priest. Priest. That's the guy. Yeah. The... Yes. Nobody knows who she is. No file, no ID, nothing. She's got a tattoo on this arm here. Tattoo? Tattoo? I think he's a, a great actor. Yeah, I love him. <laughs> this woman is mankind's most precious possession. Oh? You're right, you're right. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done yeah, that. Yeah, why are you kissing her when she's asleep? That's it's weird. Yeah. The case with the stones. Where is it? Sanagamache bet on bullet. Stolen? Who in God's name would do such a thing? <laughs> <laughs> he looks more horrifying than the character he plays in Hannibal that's all like burn and in a wheelchair. Slide. Handles adjustable for easy carrying. That was a CGI on the prep for that. That's cool. One shot. Mm -hmm. Replay sends every following shot to the same location. <laughs> Whoa, what? Flamethrower. This gun is incredible. My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite. I tell you what, Gary Oldman is a chameleon. Like, uh, yeah. I guess you could say that weapon is a metaphor for his acting skills. Swiss Army. Master. This. Nothing. This case is empty. <laughs> The Guardians uh, gave the stones to someone that they could trust. She's supposed to contact this person in a hotel. She's looking for the address. It's, it's Planet Floston in the Angel Constellation. What do you think about this costume, these costume designs as well? I do like the uniqueness of it. If it's a tone, doesn't it? I don't know what this tone is. <laughs> Mr. Zorg would like to talk to you. Of course, he's a bad guy with the name, with the name like Zorg. <laughs> Where are the stones? I don't know. And even if I did know, I wouldn't tell somebody like you. Why is every crap character from people? Life, <laughs> which you shall nobly serve, comes from destruction. <laughs> Think about all those people that created them. Hundreds of people who will be able to feed their children tonight so those children can grow up big and strong and have little teeny wing children of their own and so on and so forth. Thus, adding to the great chain of life. I see ways coming out. Water. What's his point? I fully support him. You're a monster, Zork. Zork. You can't take this thing Some seriously. things, just they just take things, some things too far, don't they? Yeah. yeah. Do you really need that bold bit of plastic on the side of his head and his name to be Zorg? This reminds me of like a sci-fi version of the Grinch. <laughs> Mondo Chiwa never fully trusted the human race. So they gave up the stones to someone they do trust. And then he got a cockroach and... <laughs> She's going to sing at a charity yeah, ball in Foster Paradise for a few hours. She has the stones with her. <laughs> I want your best man to go undercover. I have the perfect one. They found the, one, the person with the stone, the woman with the stone. Major Dallas, you've been selected for a mission of the utmost importance. What mission? Save the world. <laughs> You'll leave immediately for Floston Paradise. Retrieve four stones from the diva Plava Laguna. 
and bring them back with the utmost discretion possible. Major Iceborg will accompany you as your wife. I am not going so to. Since you need those kind of uh, sound effects, don't you? You're just gonna hide somewhere. Major, what? Major, what? Major, what? Major, what? <laughs> the three of us won't fit in there. Sure, you will. <laughs> Where's that even go? Major. Goes into the floor. <laughs> the shower. <laughs> we need your tickets for Frostman. Is this the way priests usually take vacations? Well, we're not going on a vacation, we're on a mission. What kind of mission? To save the world. You have to save the world, my son. This is our police control. Stay here for one minute, I promise. This I'll give you is our save your ass so you can save the world. <laughs> I found him. Mr. All I have to do now is go to the airport, take his place, and I'll be in floss in less than four hours. Don't come back without the stones. It's my lucky day. That guy's still in the bed. They're gonna try and get oh, on. Yeah. Gonna turn the bed nah, on. And nah, then nah, nah. <laughs> he's just gonna be like, hello. Oh. <laughs> The bed was made. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Are they dead? I'll take the mission. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're just dead. Go to the diva, collect the stones, and meet me at the temple. Mr. Dallas? I am Corbin Dallas. Oh, Mr. Dallas. Oh, um, we really need you right now. Ruby Rod is broadcasting live. <laughs> <laughs> I only have one Corbin Dallas on my list, and he's already checked it. I am Corbin Dallas. Sorry, sir, boarding is spinning. Hey, wait, 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 wait. wait. Me, fifth element, supreme being. Me, protect you. <laughs> Mr. Rod! Oh. You can call me Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> That's a film. The real Dallas took my place. I don't stand. Why is that being intercut with oral sex? And if there is one thing I do not like, three, it is to be too disappointed. One lift off. You don't want to be disturbed except if it's Mr. Shadow and it's Mr. Shadow on the line. Oh, Shadow. The I'll have to uh, let the four stones that you asked for any time now, but 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 it wasn't easy. I want That's what the other guy oh, had at the very oh. beginning. Why would you? We lost it. We lost the signal. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to paradise. Who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> The unique concert of myth, Clavala Fuda! <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so exhausted watching this movie. <laughs> this film. <laughs> Mate, it is. It's beautiful. It's haunting. It's hauntingly beautiful. We're both talking about that tail on the back of the head. Or the song. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Bruce Willis is in it. <laughs> I found it. Do you want to open it just to make sure? <laughs> Would you? It just freaks me Would out. Would you? No, it freaks me out. Would you though? No. In that time no, period. No, 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 no. If you no, were in the no. future. No. No, no. I think you would. I think I know. Would you? I know you. Would you? I know you better no. than you know yourself. I know you would. <laughs> you would. All right. If not sober, you would do it drunk. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> poetry. It's like poetry. Bravo! Bravo. Turn up the stops. <laughs> no other moves. We're taking over this ship. I hate that voice. That always seems to me like a voice that anyone can do. Yeah. We're taking uh, over uh, the ship. <gasps> Let's change the beat. Oh, he's back. There you go. How? The supreme being sent to her to save the universe. Really? Yes. She needs your help and your love. This thing scares the hell out of me. She will. 
guy. She will die. Where are the stones? Oh no, this is gonna be one of those moments where the she dies five times and goes the back. <laughs> No, come on. In me. Just gonna pull out rocks out of her. Come on, I got a headache, Come and just ain't me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's cool. That's, this is the kind of thing I'm after, man. Die hard in space. Don't move. <laughs> Jesus, Christopher. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> 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 Jesus, shut, just shut up! Hello. What's this thing with all these numbers? It's a bomb. Did Zerg leave it there? So wait, Zorg. Zerg is the, the toy of toy of toy. <laughs> no, 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 Because if he builds a bomb, the alarms will go off because all these hotels have bomb detectors, right? This is entirely. Why didn't that go off when you... Maybe it's just 10 minutes, set. 15 minutes before. I've given up. No, yeah, you haven't. It's still a story now, and they've still got to get the, the stones around her. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Kill the bad guy. Ball of gas. It, 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 it went from the 80s, 70s and 80s, which were like really serious tone, to like fun sci-fi, to then just like wacky. Like full out, full on wacky. I'm disappointed in Gary Oldman. No, I'm not. I think he still Seven. plays the part to the best of his ability. Six. Five. Oh, they have a bomb. <laughs> you should hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Titanic in space. Woo! <laughs> Problem is, there's no antagonist now apart from that big ball of gas, right? Yeah, so but what's, happen what's gonna happen? It's not only advancing, it's moving at incredible speed. We're having trouble following it. There's a ball of fire, it's 1200 miles in diameter, heading straight for Earth, and we have no idea how to stop it. Whoa. Oh, she's learning everything. She's gonna go full age of Ultron now. Put her in the center! The stone should go around, the fifth element should be in the middle. And then the weapon against evil sh should work. How do you open these stones? Fire. Yes, yes, I know all that. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I have no fire. If you have no light, you'd be done. I feel he has one left. Yeah. Quickly! Oh, get out of it! I did like that, I did like that bit. Fire. No, Lilu, Lilu, listen to me, listen to me. Listen, listen. I know you're very tired, I know you're very tired. I'm very tired, man, as well. It's the use of saving life when you see what you do with it. There are some things, very nice things worth saving, some beautiful things. I love. I was built to protect, not to love. He's gonna kiss her. Scanner imaging has confirmed the dark planet dead. Yes! What's wrong with you? Just stay in your car! Every five minutes it's time to the bomb or something! Where are my two heroes? Oh, where they were so tired from their ordeal, we put them in the reactor this morning. What? Why does it? Why? Get 
You know, there were some bits I liked and there were some bits that I disliked. More so disliked than liked. So I'm going to give this a 5 out of 10. Yeah, I'm actually going to give it a 6.8. Don't get me wrong, seven. don't get me wrong. I think this could have been better. This could have been a lot better. This could have been an awesome, awesome adventure film. Mm -hmm. But there are some things I really like about it. Well, so. we, yeah, okay, okay, cool. You're always like, we'll, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. We'll yeah, get into we that. will, right now. Right now. <laughs> it's kind of around where I expected to be because I've, I've yeah. I'd seen bits of it and I'd, I've heard people talk about it before. I can really legitimately understand why people think this is a kind of immature or childish film. Yeah, of course. Um, because the con, not the concept, sorry, the tone is so unique. It's so unique. It's so out there. It's so weird and quirky. Wacky. You could call it wacky, yeah. And everything's really, it's like a serious version of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, like you said, almost. But it has childlike humour in it. Like, that's the massive thing. Like, Chris Tucker in himself is just a massive child. I don't think, child. I don't think he's... No, 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 his uh, jokes really landed. No, they were just screaming yeah, and yeah, shouting yeah. and funny so voices. Maybe he was in it a little bit too much. But, but you know, Some if, if you're taking this as an adventure film, um, I think it's quite good. You know, there are certain parts where it drags, definitely. Yes. Certain parts where it drags. But there are other parts where the action's quite good. For the most part, mm -hmm. I really like the cast, or right, the main cast. So I'm thinking about um, Mila Djokovic, yep. Bruce Willis, okay. um, and Ian Holm. Okay. I think those three are solid. You know, yeah, Bruce Willis is quite similar to the other roles he's done. He's not never going to win any Oscars. Yeah, but... But, you know, for the characters they were playing, for the film they were playing, I thought they were good. You know, Chris Tucker, but, yeah, he's in it too much. But with that, I don't... I don't see that as their performances as strong enough in order to be like, that's a good point for that film. That's a no, solid No, no, but I, I, I'm entertained by the characters. I'm yeah. entertained by the characters. I'm not saying the emotion in the performance is amazing. No, yeah. no, in there. I think Arnold Schwarzenegger is better in Total Recall than uh, yeah. Bruce Willis is here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, but I can still enjoy the characters. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I still like the characters. Um, Gary Oldman... He's all right. You know, as I said, he was a comedian uh, and he plays completely random people. But... He... I, I, okay. to, to, to be fair, his character, I look forward yeah. to whenever he was on the screen yeah. because he was the most out there character. Mm. And it's Gary Oldman. Yeah, it's yeah. Gary Oldman, so... In terms of the supporting cast, man, man, man. Who the hell was in charge of <laughs> employing, employing... These extras that have a couple of lines. Employing these extras that have a few lines. The supporting characters, God, they were bad. Awful. A lot of them were bad. I liked the unique story, mm. the the narrative. I think definitely could have could have been better and better executed. But the story itself, like the the fifth element, the idea of a fifth mm. element, uh, I think. However, yeah, I like the idea of of a girl being the fifth element. Yeah, I like that idea. But the antagonist is very boring. One other thing. I like is that relationship that he gets with her at the end. Mm. But why? Why have her speak this stupid alien language at the start? Yeah, yeah. If she from the start spoke English but still not very good. Yeah. You could have her learning about the human race at the start, looking yeah. at the war things yeah. and learning as she goes, talking and to Bruce Willis. And then that relationship would be because even more of a payoff at the end. Because it started it? building with the like, kiss at the end. Because it started building like uh, halfway to three quarters of the way through the movie, their relationship, when she started yeah. talking English. Yeah, well, so if, if it started straight that, away... I think it was a great start when she fell through and oh, she was looking at him. And he yeah. Was, I, feel that, I think that was really good. But, but from there on, her, he was nowhere to be seen or with Or just her. have her when she woke up in the other apartment... She started to learn properly from there. Yeah. So you could really develop Or maybe that. maybe him teaching yeah. her how to, how but, to speak yeah. English. That would have been... Yeah. I didn't. More personal I didn't mind the shootout, but the whole bit with the the alien and the opera singing, and then Chris Tucker's character, it just drew out too much. I get you want a comic relief in an adventure film like this. That's fine. And he, was, and he was top. okay in the shootout. That they're a little bit too much. Yeah. Yeah. The tone is a little bit quirky, but I love the aesthetic of it. I actually like the CGI at the start when he's driving through. I thought yeah, that was yeah, all right, all right. for the yeah. time. Um, and I like the world. I do like the world. I think it's a bit weird at the start with the robot 
creatures that doesn't necessarily well when they're wearing a the suit that yeah. doesn't necessarily fit. I think they the could have been more and blues of it, and yeah. But I think that could have been more because you're just the, stuck in a theatre. The and maybe yeah, boat, maybe boat, you know more of the city, more of the underground, yeah. more of the you know sky high rise uh, sky you buildings. Know, I think this has a really big following. People like this film. I mean, that's why people have voted for it. Pro for our piece. Probably because of the aesthetic and the tone yeah. of it is, uh, is quite unique. The aesthetic, the tone, the nostalgia as well. You know, the more <laughs> I think about it, the more I dislike Gary Oldman's character and I think it's lazy writing. Zorg. <laughs> Zorg. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I know his character is completely s***, <laughs> but I liked seeing him play that wacky character because it was just entertaining yeah. to see that actor yeah, yeah, yeah. do something like that. And that's why... When he, whenever he came onto sc screen, I was just like, okay, I'm up for this because I want to see what else Gary Oldman yeah. is doing. I, I'm on the opposite to you. So I think yeah. it's more good than bad, and you think it's more bad than good, you said. Oh, you so. think it's more good than bad? Yeah. Oh, really? More of a good film than a bad film. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. That's why I've gone for that. Really. Yeah. But, you know, I've got yeah, a fondness for it. I do have a fondness yeah. for it. I, I kind of look, that, I look at it like a kind of... It's like, oh yeah, yeah, fifth element, you know, yeah. <laughs> I had fun with it. I had fun, yeah, I got yeah, fun for so. it. I got I an admiration so. for it as well. I like new things. Yeah, yeah. no, that's fair enough. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, I'm guessing all the people that are watching this video love people this movie. People voted for it, so yeah. let us know what you think about it, because it was one of your choices. So. Yeah, um, and again... Did you choose it for us because of how wacky and quirky it and is? And you thought it would be a good reaction anyway, despite it being not a very great movie or, yeah. or whatnot i think it's it the production on it is amazing mm. like so i'm not going to fault it on its design its world building and all of that i can't fault it on that um uh, and again the story and narrative blah blah, blah. but make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button uh, if you want if you like this reaction and want to see more we've got a patreon if you want to see our full length reactions to these movies um, we've got Twitter, we've got TikTok, we've got Reddit. And make sure you like the video. That liking the video helps out the channel a lot. It makes it, uh, this um, our channel reach other uh, edges of YouTube. Um, hit the notification bell. Let us know what your favourite science fiction film is. Yes, um, and we'll see you in the next video.